In June 2025, the Ural Civil Aviation Plant, UZGA, in Nizhny Novgorod, assembled the fuselage of the third flight model of the light multipurpose aircraft LMS-901 Baikal. Modern assembly tooling, which was equipped with laser tracking, was used to wrap up this stage. This technology guarantees the interchangeability of components and high assembly accuracy, which are essential for the preservation of technical tolerances during mass production. The use of assembly tooling that incorporates laser tracking significantly enhances the process, accelerating production and increasing accuracy. The result is a swift readiness for serial production and the ability to localize production at Russian factories. Panels were made and three fuselage sections were formed by specialists prior to final assembly. A fixture that was equipped with a covering machine and a press that exerted a force of 500 kilograms was used to perform the operation, which required several hours. Wing panels, tail units, ailerons, and flaps with deflectors are manufactured at the Nizhny Novgorod site, which accounts for more than 80% of the airframe components. All equipment installation and final assembly occur in Yekaterinburg. This distributed production scheme is designed to expedite the manufacturing process and reduce expenses to ensure that the aircraft is released by the end of 2026, in accordance with the Russian government's plans. Yuzige observes that the primary objective of production development is to enhance the level of localization and technological advancement, with a particular emphasis on import substitution. The plant maintains the active modernization of its production processes, despite external constraints and alterations in certain suppliers. The first two prototypes of the LMS-901 Baikal were instrumental in the aircraft's development and certification. Built in 2021, the first prototype remained a static model, incapable of flight. It was predominantly used for ground and structural tests to verify the airframe's aerodynamics, strength, and system integration. This foundational work enabled the first flying prototype to take flight on January 30, 2022, at the Yekaterinburg airfield. The aircraft was initially propelled by a General Electric H80-200 engine as the domestic VK800SM was unavailable. This prototype undertook basic flight tests in 2022 and 2023 to evaluate aerodynamics and control, as well as to identify and rectify early design issues. The second prototype, which was completed and deployed in 2023, was intended for more sophisticated flight test programs, such as performance evaluations under varying operational conditions, environmental systems, and avionics. It undertook rigorous testing for short takeoff and landing, payload, and cold weather operations, which was a critical factor in Russia's diverse climate. It was initially equipped with the GEH-80 engine, similar to the first, but provisions were made for the future installation of the VK-800SM as soon as the Russian power plant became available. Despite delays associated with engine localization, both aircraft have been showcased at major Russian air shows, thereby maintaining the project's public profile. These two prototypes have collaborated to facilitate extensive testing and refinement, thereby establishing the groundwork for the third flight test article and serial production. The latter will exhibit a greater level of technological sophistication and will incorporate Russian made components. The LMS 901 Baikal is a light, multi-purpose turboprop aircraft that is intended to replace the obsolete AN-2 and is specifically designed for regional roads. It is capable of accommodating up to nine passengers or two tons of cargo. The aircraft is equipped with a Russian turboshaft VK-800SM engine that can generate up to 870 horsepower. A general electric engine was used in the initial prototypes, however, it has since been replaced by a domestic power plant. Since July 2025, the VK800SM engine has been undergoing flight testing on a Yak-40LL testbed at the Sibnaya SA Chaplygin flight test base in Novosibirsk's Eltsovka airfield. After this phase, 
the engine will be installed on the LMS901 for certification with the AV901 propeller. The VK800SM engine and AV901 propeller are scheduled for LMS901 type certification in late 2026. Leonid Luzgin, the president of UZGA, has underscored that, regardless of the challenges encountered during the project, deliveries will start as planned and test units will be delivered to consumers by the conclusion of 2026. During the transition to Russian components from 2024 to 2025, the project encountered challenges and was required to address certain design deficiencies. Experts and media reports indicate that the project postponed some phases and considered options such as redesigning or transferring to another company. Nevertheless, the Ministry of Industry and Trade in Yuzige promptly executed supplementary contracts and implemented substantial design enhancements. Yuzge anticipates adhering to the Russian government's established schedule by increasing production at two sites, Nizhny Novgorod and Yekaterinburg. This will expedite the process of preparing for full-scale production and decrease expenses. In conclusion, the technological modernization and development of Russia's domestic aviation industry are illustrated by the LMS-901 Baikal project, particularly in the transition to Russian components and the subsequent increase in localization. Despite the obstacles, it is anticipated that mass production will be completed by the end of 2026. These developments will enable the replacement of outdated AN-2 aircraft with modern equipment for regional air transport. Now, do you think this project is a slow mover? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.